Hi team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. Today we're going to work on number 111 on the FTC General Knowledge Practice Test. This is a great problem for elementary school teachers out there that struggle with math and need, need review of some core math concepts. Today we're going to be looking at supplementary angles and corresponding angles. Alright, so let's take a look. Number 111. Given that lines PR and SU are parallel in the figure, following figure, which the following is true. Now we have this figure here. We're told that these two lines, this one and this one, are parallel. We're asked this question. Um, which, which one of these statements is true? It may be more than one. Now, when I, when I work with teachers on a problem like this, there's two things I have to address. One is first how to interpret, you know, how to read these and make sense of the formatting of, uh, of how these angles are written. And the second thing is the vocabulary and the core concepts that are, are laid out in this problem. So first, uh, first let's, uh, let's just really quickly address how to, to read these, the, just how to read this stuff. This refers to line PR. So we're looking at P here and R here. This refers to this line here created by these two points. This one right here, I read this as angle PQT, and the Q represents the vertex of the angle. So here I have my Q, that's my vertex, and my outer uh, angle is made up of two rays. So this right here forms my angle, and it, we're looking for this angle right here. Okay, so there's my, my basics on just uh, being able to identify what's what. Now I gotta know what it means. Like what do parallel lines mean? Parallel lines um, mean that you have two lines that never intersect. And something very interesting happens when you have two lines that are parallel, they never intersect, and they're transversed or crossed by a third line. So let's call the two parallel lines M and N. They're parallel, they never intersect, and they're transversed by O. One thing that happens is we have a set of corresponding angles. For example, I could say this angle here, we'll call this A, it corresponds with this angle here, A. Corresponding angles are going to be equal, so A is going to be equal to A. And then we have another idea, that opposite angles, A and its opposite, A, are, are going to be equal. So corresponding angles are equal and opposite angles are equal. So all of a sudden when I start filling this out, I get that this angle here, A, when you have two lines that are parallel, this angle is going to be the same as this one, which is going to be the same as this one, which is going to be the same as this one. The second piece is that um, we have something called supplementary angles. That's this vocabulary word here. Supplementary angles are two angles that when you add them up they form 180 degrees. Now if we were thinking about it, if we had a semicircle, semicircle is half of a circle, so if a full circle is 360, right? 360, a half a circle is actually half of that or 180 degrees. And supplementary angles are two angles that form 180 degrees or add up to 180 degrees. So if I the way to determine if something is supplementary is do these two angles add up to form 180 degrees? And basically that means they form a straight line. So two angles are supplementary when they add up to form 180 degrees or form a straight line. So now we have these two ideas. Now we're going to combine them. Well, what, what's the supplement? Let's say the supplement of A here is B. And since that's the case because these two, A and B, form a straight line. And then I have opposite angles are equal, so that means this B is equal to this, and, and this B, because it corresponds with this B, is equal to that, and all of a sudden we get those right here. It's sort of a fusion of these two ideas. The first one says that when two parallel lines are, form, uh, are crossed by a third line, you have something called the corresponding angles, which means A is equal to A, and the opposite of A is equal. And then we have this other idea that two angles that form a straight line are supplementary. So A and B are supplementary, 
And therefore, we could say that uh, B is equal to B and this B is equal to B because of corresponding angles. All right. I said that so that I can now answer the question with you. All right. There's a lot of math here. See if you can make sure you review this rule and this rule here, on supplementary angles and corresponding angles. But now let's examine if, if statement one is true. Angle PQT, that means this is the vertice, PQT, that's this angle here, is it equal to QTU? That's QTU, that would be uh, this one right here. Are they, oh no, I'm sorry, not equal, are they exterior angles? Well, guess what? They're not exterior angles because there's no closed shape. Exterior angles refers to a shape that's closed off, like let's say if there was a triangle on a line and I had these inside angles in the triangle. We could say these are the interior angles, and then we could say this angle on the outside, the exterior, let's say D, this one right here, this is an exterior angle. Well, in this shape, there's no closed off figure, so there's no exterior angle. But I kind of made a mistake because I said equal. Well, well, this one right here, this angle here, doesn't it correspond with this angle here because they're parallel lines? And aren't opposite angles equal? So guess what? Angle PQT and angle QTU are equal, or we could say congruent. So statement one is not true. These are not ex not involved. This problem does not involve exterior angles. What about statement two? Angle STV. So there's T, STV. That's this one right here. And angle uh, VTU. VTU. That's uh, that's angle this one here. What can you tell me about these? Well, guess what? They're not the same. They're not congruent. But they're two angles that form a straight line and we call those supplementary angles. So this one is true, right? Two angles that form a straight line, this one and this one, are called supplementary angles. Well, what about this, STV and PQO? Well, that's this one right here. Well, clearly, they don't even look like they're on the same planet. But if we use corresponding angles, like A, A and A are the same here, we get that this angle and this angle form a straight line and therefore because they first this angle corresponds with this angle they're the same and because these two angles form a straight line they form 180 degrees they're supplementary we again get a true statement so statements two and three are true alright there's one last one here it's PQT and VTU are congruent angles um, that is uh, tends not to, that one's not true. <laughs> I'll let you go double check that. You can go back. Is PQT equal to VTU? Where's VTU? Um, VTU? Um, no, they're they're not equal. They're supplementary, but they're not equal. All right. Trust me on this one. Two and three equal because we're combining these core ideas of corresponding angles and supplementary angles, and all the applications that come in um, for a type of problem like this. Okay, team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. Hope you found this video helpful. Have a, have a wonderful day. Take care. Hi, team. I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the GoMath workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful. Mm -hmm.